Good morning, it's Monty with Phoenix Tactical Solutions. Today we're going to talk about port loading a semi-automatic shotgun, Beretta 1301 Tactical in this instance. With a shotgun, I'm limited to what's in the tube and what's in the chamber, so I highly recommend a side saddle. This is an Aridus Industry side saddle. I run dry, I drop it, I snap another one into place. Six more rounds to play with. Now, when I port load a shotgun, how I grab that initial round dictates how I port load. Index finger next to brass, I go over. Pinky next to brass, I go under. With a side saddle, I can configure it to my liking. My preferred way of doing it, if I have a choice, going over the top. Now, if I have an optic mounted, adds a little bit more real estate to traverse. So I gotta be a little bit more cautious. One of the tricky things with a semi-automatic shotgun is when I'm coming over, if I don't sweep that bolt release and that charging handle hits my hand, I come out, the next sound I hear is a click when I expected a bang. So I clear the shotgun, I grab another shell, I insert and I sweep. Or alternatively, I come over, I insert, come from underneath and fire. If I come from underneath, obviously I reduce the chance of that happening. If I opt to do it over the top, make sure you sweep. Now, if I'm going from underneath, it's a little tight because it's a brand new uh, side saddle. I drop it in, and again, I want to sweep, right? I grab a shell, I drop it in, sweep. Grab a shell, a little tight on that one. Drop it in, sweep. By the way, this is such a so uh, soft shooting shotgun. Those were all uh, double odd buck. So these are the considerations I have to be aware of whether I go over the top or underneath. Either way, I do not want that charging handle to hit my hand and induce a malfunction and hear a click when I oh so badly wanted the bang. Thanks for watching. By the way, I highly recommend this shotgun. It's now my favorite shotgun. Thanks for watching, take care.